Breaking developments at Starbase are reshaping the future of spaceflight. SpaceX has just unveiled major changes for Flight 7, and the details are stunning. An innovative heat shield design, enhanced Raptor engines, and a groundbreaking surprise that no one saw coming. Remember those breathtaking Saturn V launches from the 60s and 70s? SpaceX is about to show us something even more incredible. New footage from Flight 6 has emerged, giving us an unprecedented look at those massive Raptor engines during ignition. A view that captures the raw power of what might be the most revolutionary spacecraft since the Apollo era. But that's just the beginning. As we speak, teams at Starbase are preparing for something unprecedented. The first ever reuse of flight-proven Raptor hardware. Yes, you heard that right. An engine that's already touched the edge of space is going back for round two. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The dawn of a new era in spaceflight is unfolding before our eyes at Starbase. What we're witnessing isn't just another rocket launch. It's the evolution of humanity's greatest adventure. Today, we're diving deep into SpaceX's groundbreaking plans for Flight 7. And trust me, this is something you won't want to miss. As the sun rises over Starbase, engineers are putting the finishing touches on what could be the most significant leap forward in the Starship program yet. The high-quality recap video of Flight 6 just dropped, and it's revealed something extraordinary. Hidden within those frames is a view that took everyone's breath away, a crystal-clear shot of those mighty Raptor engines during ignition. This isn't just another camera angle. It's a window into the raw power that's pushing humanity toward the stars. The footage brings back memories of those iconic Saturn V launches. But there's something different here, something more profound. While the Saturn V wrote the first chapters of our lunar exploration story, Starship is writing the preface to humanity's interplanetary saga. Every frame of this new footage tells a story of innovation, determination, and the relentless pursuit of progress. But here's where things get really interesting. SpaceX isn't just showing us pretty pictures. They're revealing their hand for Flight 7, and it's more ambitious than anyone expected. Remember those vacuum-jacketed propellant feed lines we speculated about? They're real, and they're spectacular. Picture this, a nothing sandwich of metal and vacuum, creating the perfect insulation for super-cold propellants. It's not just clever engineering, it's the kind of innovation that makes interplanetary travel possible. The heat shield story gets even better. Ship 33 isn't just carrying any heat shield, it's testing the first actively cooled tiles. This is the kind of breakthrough that changes everything. When Elon Musk mentioned this possibility after Flight 6, most of us thought it was a distant dream. But SpaceX doesn't do distant dreams. They do rapid innovation. This new heat shield system could revolutionize our approach to atmospheric re-entry, making spacecraft more robust and reusable than ever before. Speaking of reusability, let's talk about something historic. Engine 314, affectionately known as the Pi engine. This isn't just any Raptor engine. It's a veteran of Flight 5, and now it's going back to space. Think about that for a moment. An engine that's already touched the edge of space, already pushed the boundaries of what's possible, is about to do it again. This isn't just a technical achievement. It's a testament to SpaceX's vision of truly reusable spacecraft. But the innovations don't stop there. The Block 2 version of Starship is packed with upgrades that would make any aerospace engineer's heart race. The propellant tanks are larger, the forward flaps have been repositioned for better control, and the avionics system has been completely overhauled. They've added 30, yes, 30 vehicle cameras, giving us unprecedented views of every critical moment during flight. And then there's the payload. No more bananas for scale this time. Flight 7 will carry something far more significant. 10 Starlink simulators designed to test deployment mechanisms for the next generation of satellites. But here's the twist that nobody saw coming. These aren't just any Starlink satellites. They're test articles for the mysterious V3 hardware, a system that promises to revolutionize satellite internet with gigabit speeds. The preparation for Flight 7 has been intense. The flight termination system, that crucial safety component, has just been installed on Booster 14. This is typically the final step before flight, 
a clear signal that launch day is approaching. But SpaceX isn't just focused on the next flight. They're already building the future. Ships 36 and 38 are progressing rapidly through production, and something even more exciting has been spotted. Parts for the lunar starship, SpaceX's ambitious moon lander for NASA. Down at McGregor, Texas, another revolution is brewing. The Raptor 3 engine has been spotted in the wild for the first time, undergoing testing on the horizontal test stand. This isn't just another engine. It's the next evolution of the most advanced rocket engine ever built. With serial number four, this engine represents SpaceX's methodical approach to perfection, test, improve, repeat. The pace of progress at Starbase is breathtaking. Booster 17 is already being stacked, mere days after Booster 16's completion. The time between booster stacks has dropped from 40 days to just 10, a clear sign that SpaceX is hitting its stride. At Pad B, construction is moving at lightning speed. The water-cooled launch deck is in place, the chopsticks are nearly ready for installation, and the tower's protective housing is taking shape. But perhaps the most significant development isn't any single technical achievement. It's the acceleration of SpaceX's entire operation. What we're seeing isn't just the construction of launch facilities or the testing of new engines. We're watching the birth of a genuine spacefaring civilization. Every weld, every test, every small improvement brings us closer to that goal. The sensors on the catch tower have been upgraded, addressing the issues that prevented a successful catch during Flight 6. This might seem like a small detail, but it's crucial. Every failure, every setback, every unexpected challenge becomes a stepping stone to success. That's the SpaceX way. Fail forward, learn fast, and never stop pushing the boundaries. As we look ahead to Flight 7, it's clear that this isn't just another test flight. It's a culmination of countless innovations, improvements, and bold engineering decisions. The Block 2 Starship represents everything we've learned so far, wrapped in a package that's more capable, more reliable, and more ambitious than ever before. The January 10th target date might slip. Space is hard and perfection takes time, but that's not what matters. What matters is that with every passing day, with every small improvement and major breakthrough, we're getting closer to making life multi-planetary. This isn't just about building better rockets. It's about expanding the possibilities for human civilization. In these halls of innovation, in these workshops where dreams take physical form, something extraordinary is happening. We're not just watching history, we're watching the future unfold in real time. Every piece of new hardware, every successful test, every small victory brings us one step closer to the stars. The story of Starship isn't just about technical specifications and engineering achievements. It's about human ingenuity, determination, and the unwavering belief that we can build a better future. As we stand on the brink of Flight 7, we're not just watching a rocket test. We're watching the next chapter of human spaceflight being written before our eyes. As we stand at this pivotal moment in spaceflight history, Flight 7 represents more than just another launch. It's a testament to human perseverance and innovation. From the revolutionary actively cooled heat shields to the first reuse of a flight-proven Raptor engine, every advancement brings us closer to becoming a multi-planetary species. The next few weeks will be crucial as SpaceX prepares for this historic mission. What do you think about these groundbreaking developments? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm especially curious about your predictions for the new heat shield design. If you want to stay at the forefront of a space exploration and never miss a Starship update, hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of space enthusiasts. Don't forget to turn on notifications to catch our daily coverage of all things SpaceX and space technology. And if you found value in today's deep dive, giving this video a thumbs up helps more people discover these incredible developments in space exploration. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we track humanity's journey to the stars, one breakthrough at a time. Seven days into 2025, and SpaceX is making history yet again. The world's most ambitious rocket company isn't just preparing for another launch. They're about to unveil something extraordinary. 
Flight 7 of Starship, their revolutionary spacecraft, is ready to push the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. But this isn't just another test flight. For the first time ever, Starship will carry actual payloads into space. Ten Starlink simulators sit ready in its cargo bay, waiting to prove that this massive vehicle can do more than just reach orbit. It can revolutionize how we deploy satellites. The excitement at Starbase in Bogica, Texas, is palpable. Engineers are making final preparations on Booster 14 and Ship 33, the latest iterations of SpaceX's most powerful rocket system. These aren't just upgraded versions. They represent the next generation of space technology, with improvements that touch everything from the heat shield to the navigation systems. 2025 is shaping up to be SpaceX's most ambitious year yet. With 25 FAA launch licenses already secured, the company is positioned to achieve more in the next 12 months than many space programs accomplish in a decade. The rapid progress from their first integrated flight test in April 2023 to now shows just how far they've come and hints at where they're heading next. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in the future of space exploration. Let's dive right in. At SpaceX's Starbase facility in Texas, dawn breaks over what might be the most advanced spacecraft ever built. The massive silhouette of Starship stands against the orange sky. But this isn't just any Starship. This is Ship 33, paired with Booster 14, representing the culmination of years of innovation and countless lessons learned from previous flights. The journey to Flight 7 tells a story of persistence and rapid evolution. When SpaceX first launched Starship in April 2023, skeptics questioned whether such an ambitious vehicle could ever work. The explosion minutes into that first flight led to headlines questioning the entire program. But what those critics missed was something fundamental about SpaceX's approach. Every failure provided invaluable data. Every setback contained the seeds of future success. As we stand here in early 2025, that methodical progression becomes clear. The time between launches has shrunk dramatically. What once took months of preparation can now be accomplished in weeks. This acceleration wasn't just about speed, it was about perfecting every component, every system, every procedure. The teams at SpaceX have worked around the clock, learning from each test, implementing improvements, and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Ship 33 represents a quantum leap forward in spacecraft design. The most visible changes are in its aerodynamic profile. The forward flaps have been completely redesigned, now smaller and sharper, positioned closer to the vehicle's nose. But these aren't just aesthetic changes. The new configuration provides superior control during the critical re-entry phase, while offering enhanced protection against the intense heat of atmospheric re-entry. Perhaps the most significant advancement lies in the fuel system. Engineers have achieved what many thought impossible, a 25% increase in fuel capacity without significantly increasing the vehicle's mass. This breakthrough came through innovative tank design and improved fuel feed lines that maximize efficiency. For perspective, this extra fuel capacity could mean the difference between a simple orbital mission and having enough Delta VR for lunar operations. The heat shield tells another story of relentless innovation. Previous versions showed vulnerability during the intense forces of re-entry. The solution wasn't just better tiles. It was a complete rethinking of thermal protection. The new system includes next-generation tiles backed by a secondary protective layer. If a tile is damaged or lost during ascent, this backup system ensures the spacecraft remains protected during the critical re-entry phase. But the real game-changer lies in Starship's brain its avionics system. The new suite includes redundant computers with processing power that would have seemed like science fiction just a few years ago. These systems don't just control the vehicle, they predict and adapt to changing conditions in real time. For the first time, Starship will be equipped with Starlink capabilities, streaming high-definition video at over 120 megabytes per second. This isn't just about providing pretty pictures, it's about having unprecedented insight into the vehicle's performance during every phase of flight. Flight 7's mission profile reads like a space enthusiast's wish list. For the first time, Starship will deploy actual payloads, 
10 Starlink simulators designed to mirror the mass and dimensions of next-generation satellites. This isn't just a test of deployment mechanisms. It's a crucial step toward Starship's role in building the infrastructure of our spacefaring future. The mission includes another crucial test, relighting a Raptor engine in space. This might sound simple, but it's one of the most challenging aspects of spaceflight. The ability to reliably restart engines in the vacuum